ho, 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 ladies and gentlemen, welcome your faces back to The Hunting, where we have a chest behind us. And you might be like, whoa, that's a suspicious looking chest you got there, Tom. And I go, you know what? It is a suspicious <laughs> chest you've got there. Because it is. This is a block of iron and it needs somewhere to go. Hmm. You might be like, Tom, that's a suspicious statement. At least I didn't mess that one up this time. Because, ladies and gentlemen, this entire area is filled with an absolute ludicrous, ludicrous, I tell you, amount of resources. Now, no one's currently on the server, which means I'm going to try and go over to Jack's Island, Mr. Courage JD's, find his mob spawner, and take advantage of it. Because I do believe now they have enchanting tables, all that sort of stuff, we can just kind of make the most of what they've got whilst they're not there. But, look at that. Let, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to open a calculator real quick. Are you ready to find out how much gold I actually mined? Are you ready for this? 50 times 9. 450 ingots of gold. You know, plus the 3. 4, 5, 3. 453 blocks of gold. That is absolutely... Ridiculous. Well, ingots of gold. We then have all this. Actually, we do. Let's do the math on the iron as well. Thirteen times nine. One hundred and seventy. One hundred and nineteen pieces of gold. Let's take a look. How much coal am I taking back? Thirty-one times nine. Two hundred and seventy-nine pieces of coal right there, as well as five blast furnaces that I've made. I'm gonna leave one here, just in case we ever come back to here. We need it. But, ladies and gentlemen, this, like random adventure we came on to simply find Hex's home the first time round when we could have actually found Jack's XP grinder paid off so much if you didn't see the last episode I died and I thought I'd lost everything all my progress my diamond sword my everything and you may be saying Tom where's the iron side pickaxe well ladies and gentlemen mining the gold got too much for me it got it got too addictive, all right? I just kept mining and mining and mining, and it broke on me. So that was a fail. We lost our really good pickaxe, which we used pretty much all our levels of enchantment on. But we are now taking back nearly two full stacks of 64 rails, some powered rails, an unbelievable amount of gold, an unbelievable amount of iron. This is just ridiculous. I, I cannot believe how much loot we are taking away from this place. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we're just, just like, just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we're off. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Hector's base. By the way, I assume it's Hector's base, because we know he went off in this direction. What are the chances of him turning up right now? Oh, uh -huh. wait, did he just go in the nether? Or is that a pigman? I'm almost tempted to say. Nether. <laughs> so sneaky deaky. Nice. Perfect. Hex is in the nether. Right, let's take a look, let's take a look, let's take a look. He's got a bell as well. Right, what has Hector Rodriguez got? Sweeping edge. Mm. Not much of valuable in here. Oh, horse armor. Okay. Not really valuable as well, either. Alright, nothing. Sh what, is, what is that? I think he just placed that by accident. Oh, shiver me timbers. Right. Fermented spider eye. You need a mushroom, is it? I don't think he's... I don't <gasps> oh. Bane of arthropods or a sharpness. What about... What if I do my sword? Efficiency 2. Do you know what? I might just put it on. I'm doing it. I'm just going to enchant things. Fortune? Nope. S wait, smite too? What is smite? Sharpness one, that's pretty naff. What about my, my shovel? <laughs> Efficiency. Ooh, that was a load of good. Wait, can I put this book on? Smite. Oh, I need to put that on a new helmet, don't I? Wait, where are my blocks? I need that. Where's his anvil? Wait, did I just see an anvil? Oh. He's made an ender chest? Bloody hell, Hex. 
Wait, that might be a clutch play for us. We start putting some stuff in an ender chest, we can access it here. Wait, what's he brewing? Oh, he's made an awkward potion. Should we make a speed potion real quick? <laughs> That's awkward. If we put that in, this will make speed potions for us, right? And then if we put redstone, it'll make it twice as much. <laughs> quick, 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 quick. Quick, 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 quick. Dude, this looks good. This actually looks good. I'm impressed. I'm impressed for Hex. He's got a farm. Nothing too crazy. Surely he's got to have a basement. Nice. Right, let's get the redstone in it. Mate, i got to keep my eye on that in case he comes back through. Potion of swiftness. Nice. All right, what are we leaving behind? Oh, I don't really want to leave anything behind. I'll tell you what, we can do this. We'll do... We'll leave it at the back where he won't notice it. <laughs> uh, right, we've got that. We've got that. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I can actually make another iron block here. I kind of want to make a helmet and put that respiration stuff on. Let me go. Smooth stone, sticks. We're keeping the spider's eye. String. All right, where's these crafting tables and stuff? I now have three potions of swiftness. Nice. Oh, wait, if we don't put that back. I don't think it'll notice. Wait, where's his anvil? Did... Oh, God. I swear I saw an anvil. That... Yeah, I did. Right. So let me make... I need a... Where's his... Where's his crafting tables? If he comes through, we're screwed. I hope I have enough levels for this. Ready? Put that in. And that in. Respiration 2. I gotta be careful where I put my stuff, because if he picks it up, he'll know I've been here. <laughs> Respiration 2 now means I can breathe underwater way longer. Way longer. Alright, so Hex has clearly got his valuable valuables in an ender chest. How much how much time can I hold underwater now? Get out of here! Wow! Okay, that's a long ass amount of time. If I drink a potion of swiftness, can I swim faster underwater? I don't think so. That doesn't seem much quicker to me. I think you need depth strider for that. How much quicker on land? Is he back in? No. Oh wow. Yeah, you just you completely forget how fast you can go with this. I'm te I'm tempted. I'm tempted to. Oh, I can't. I was going to say, should we go through? This might actually end up telling us back to the start. Should we see? Go away. It does bring us through this one. Wait, so if I go back through, have we got ourselves a teleportation to Hex's house? He doesn't know we know where this is. My God. He doesn't know we know where this is. But if Nade Shots removed the old one. Oh, Nade Shots on as well. I've got a really evil plan. I've got a really. When I say evil plan, guys, I mean I've got a really evil plan. I need that. What else do I need for a fermented smider eye? Please don't tell Pope someone weird. Knew it! Always does this. Where does this bring me out again? I'll tell you what, we'll mine up and mine out. So where does this bring us out? Okay, it's not bad. If we put a boat there as well, it's not bad. So that means that means Nade's destroyed the how the, the portal, doesn't it? Can we actually see Nade? Yep. Did we just avoid him seeing us? Let's go get the diamonds. We're gonna get the diamonds, then we're saying goodbye to this base forever. I'm sick of being split between places. I know it's nice to be split between base places, but so we've got some sort of system to get from A to B quicker. No way. Off we go. I'm moving out, folks. I'm moving out. I'm a big boy. In a bit. New home, here I come. I'm probably gonna wanna I'm probably gonna wanna grow some nether warts, but I have 64 there. There's no way I'm gonna use 64 ne nether warts up, is there? It's just impossible. 
My potions of invisibility ready? Oh yeah. I'm ready. You know what? I feel like we've been messing around with so much. I think, uh, I think I'm just gonna have a bit of a poke. With some arrows. I wanna go invisible and hit him with a, a BAM! Hit him with a shot. On road again. Going to my new base again. So, at this point right now in the video, you're gonna be like, what the hell is going on? So, I made it to my base uh, after leaving the other house. I just cannot be asked with it. And as you can see, there's me over there. I then decided to do a live stream on my Twitch of a behind the scenes. I put in the title, warning, spoiler. I'm not trying to ruin the series at all for anyone who do not watch now, but this room, okay, I knew needed so much work. And if I was to record it in episodes, it would take four to five episodes to get it anywhere. So for the last two hours, I've been live streaming and the room went from looking like this to like this. Oh yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got goddamn upgrades. Look at this room. I did this all by myself on live stream. We've still got the uh, elevator get out. Got a little bit of an unlimited water source and some like supply stashes here. Um, I'm gonna make so many secret secret portals here. And yes, okay, yes, this is just lava, and you can walk into it. But if you use a potion, <laughs> I'm so <sorry, man. laughs> Anyway, anyway, anyway. Right, so this is where I'm up to with it so far. We got the water elevator still. We got the landing. Just looks a bit cleaner. Just looks like a little water splash. Gonna be able to make a spare back room out here, which is looking kind of nice and neat. And then if we run up here, just got these little sections going on. I'm tempted. I don't know how I'll redstone it. Because, yes, someone could just mine in from above. What I'd love to do with this is, once I've got the layout of the entire base, put, I don't know how I'd even do it, put obsidian all around it. Or just, like, make some safe rooms. I really, 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 really want to make some safe rooms in this series. So, but what I'd love to do, if I could flick a lever here, like, if I'm getting chased, then all of a sudden, oh, that's, that's mate, I've got loads of things I need to fix. Flick a lever, and then the entire room gets flooded with lava. Imagine that. Like, no way! <laughs> Falls on them. That'd be absolutely sick. But, ignore these chests for now. These are just like, you know, the temporary, like, yes, by the way, again, the legit blocks. I did not cheat these in. I just mined them all. Can't believe how much I got out of that. It's ridiculous. These chests are all going to get lifted up, and I'm going to move them <laughs> into the back over here. You might be like, what on earth is going on with this? This was kind of like different cave path systems, of which I kind of let be a bit au naturel. I've got a lava source up here, which this has no reason to be up here. What I actually think I'm going to do, pick all this up, and what I might actually do is from this point onwards, make this all grass. So as you can see, this, and this is why I say it's going to take a while, because we're going to need diamonds, efficiency, and all this. Because this is a lot, a lot of obsidian. To the point where maybe it might be best to like dig up and put grass on top of it. Uh, I've actually got my enchanting table. I actually got this up and running. Uh, it does a level 30 enchantment if we throw this bad boy in. Ta-da! Sure, I'll, I'll go with unbreaking. Why not? I'm just, I just keep enchanting because the amount of cobblestone that I'm smelting, uh, I just keep getting like enough to do little enchantments. This room over here, probably just going to put a bedroom in here. Like, double bed in the center. Like, again, me and my symmetry is a bit over, all over the place. I think everyone plays Minecraft and gets a bit OCD and stuff like that. But I'm just liking it. All right, so I did actually wrap up the live stream after three hours and getting a lot of successful stuff done. I know I've just run around and showed you guys this already, but I do need to wrap this episode up because we come to the time of it. This is something that I'm going to do a lot more in between my episodes because I know that filming the 30 minutes here and there and everything, the initial, you know, getting my gear, setting up, like going messing with the other guys, like houses and stuff like that is key. And I want to capture it to show like how I've done these things. But when I'm doing big builds and base builds, like I've got all the materials I need now, like... Seeing strip mine is something that's not necessarily like interesting for you guys. I know there's a lot of you who do like seeing pure natural episodes, and sometimes you will do that sort of stuff. Like if it just makes sense, like if we find like a, a new world, like when we were mining all that gold and like discovering that was just amazing. So I wanted to showcase that to you all. But when I'm doing like big clear outs and stuff like this, I will not bore you guys with it, and we'll just focus on the hunting, the getting the dope bases made, and then planting traps in the other guy's bases. My next thing I want to try and do in the next episode is ransack Jack's uh, loot. 
because uh, he's been talking mad shit on Twitter. And I told you guys I was taking it easy on him, and I have been doing, like, throughout the entire series a little bit. Like, I've not just been running up, you know, like, killing him for no sh no reason. Like, it's, you know, just a bit unfair if I go running over. Whoa! God, this guy, the hell of me. You know, if I just go... Oh, can you witch? Oh, dear. If I just go running up on him and killing him, like, it's a bit just unfair. You know, it's, he doesn't expect it. But he's been talking an absolute load of shit on social media. So... Uh, we need to like teach him a lesson. So I'm thinking we get uh, you know potions of harming. Seeing as though he's got armor, which is all great, but I'm not too sure he could survive uh, potions of harming two splash potions thrown at him, or all these chests replaced with uh, trapped chests uh, loaded with TNT to explode. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna start stepping things up a little bit because our base is improving. Those guys' armor and like equipment's improving. Hector doesn't know that we've actually found his base, so that is an absolute win. And uh, we need to get stealing some diamonds or finding them for ourselves. I'd actually like to take down Jack and take his his weapon and pickaxe. And you might be like, Tom, that is just harsh. But guys, they know what they signed up to. Uh, up to. Up for. This is the hunting. And I am indeed stepping it up to hunt them. If they've not got the provisions at this stage in the game after putting like hundreds of hours into this server, then hey man, that's on them. They have got to learn to defend themselves. And I'm going to teach them that the hard way. All right, we're back on the island where um, we are immediately doing something that I believe if we don't do, it's going to cause us to get caught. I don't know who planted these, placed these, or did whatever with them. But for the past few episodes, there has been this absolutely distracting island. Who did this? Why did they do it? Did they do it to toy with me because they found my uh, house in between episodes? I'm not too sure, but hopefully now there'll be no goddamn problem of them locating me by saying it's just before you find the pumpkin island. So we've got rid of that, which could actually be an indication of someone's house being in that direction. So I'm tempted to maybe go and look over there, but... Right now, nobody is on the server. <clears throat> so we're going to go and investigate what the hell Courage has been building over here. I I have no idea what he's been doing, what he's been working on. Um, I, I haven't overheard him saying, hey, I'm building a fortress of solitude or a, a, a dungeon of doom. I, I've not heard anything other than it's just this. Oh, it's a chicken in the boat. <clears throat> other than just seeing this, this monstrosity. Is what I'm going to call it. Now, don't get me wrong. We all started, uh, you know, Minecraft once. Um, okay. Sure. Uh, beautiful, Jack. T 10 out of 10 building skills. You know, since he's always only just been playing Minecraft for like a, a week or something like that. Two weeks or something. I I'll, I'll, give, I'll give him props for that. 200 plus pound people only live around here. Uh, let's recheck. Let's keep rechanging the sign. Um, Tom's house. No, oh, no 100 team members. Tom's house, no 100 team members. All right, we're in. So I'm going to run Saki's house a little bit for things that you probably wouldn't necessarily think. Feathers. Mm-hmm. That's something going for. I need more arrows in my life. And you might be like, Tom, this is just straight up stealing at this point. And it is. And it's to teach Jack a lesson. Now, I know you might be coming in and be like, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Listen, he's been throwing out statements left, right, and center talking shit on social media. So if you talk shit, you get smacked. All right, that is what's going down. So what I want to do is potion up. And the reason I want to potion up is because I want to take him down with potion of harming. That's my whole plan and intention. God, that's quite a nice amount. So I'm not going to take his val valuables in the essence of, oh, I'll tell you what, we could take the redstone. You might be like, why do you want the redstone? Because I was going to do the, my house. Whoa, yeah, bloody hell, that's, that's just quite a fair bit. We'll, we'll, we'll leave that. Um, I was going to do, you know, where the gold symbol is in my roof. I was going to do that, um, like, instead of slabs, in redstone instead. But we have a... Oh, my God. I genuinely thought, then, we found his secret chest by him leaving it exposed. Which I'm still not convinced, by the way. That, you know, when this door's been here and he keeps walking through it every time. We saw him mine through to something. We saw him mine through to a secret spot. I don't know where, I don't know what, but we did. We saw it. I think there's a chest around here that's got all his wares in it. But then again, his, red, his redstone is up there. So, that you know, it could, it could just be the case of that's it. I, I, I swear, like, when we came through here, it actually... It, I swear this is where he built through. I was sure of it. But clearly not too sure because we haven't found anything. So, I'm going to go ahead and cover that back up for another day. We can use that. We...
There was a secret chest. I knew it. We must have just guessed too soon. There was actually a secret chest room. You son of a bitch, Jack. Wait, so this is moved. Where is it gone? Because he ran down here to show uh, Fwiz and an XP farm, I believe. Oh, wait up. Oh, that... That was just too suspicious looking. So he ran down here to show Fwiz an XP farm. Now, as to where it is, I'm not too sure. I guess we could turn our volume up and try and listen in case we can hear loads of mobs. Because I can't... Oh, we're going to get lost down here. One eternity later. Oh, snap. Hex has just joined the game. Which means one of two things. Because Hex is on... Hello, sir. Hex lives in the same house at the moment, because he's in California with them, as Nade Shot and Courage, which means that those guys might be jumping on the server any minute. Whoa. Nope, dead end. I just want to find it. This, this is like the perfect time, the British time before these guys wake up, because it's now 11.45 in California, where it's 7.45pm uh, where I am. So, like, I've got this morning to kind of, like, get the advancements done I need, like, AFK fishing or strip mining and stuff like that to try and take them out. I just don't know where it could possibly be. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I knew I could hear water trickling, and I've tracked it down to where I believe <laughs> is his mom's spawner. Oh! <laughs> All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where does this one take you? Okay, so he's not going. Wait, where do you do it? Where do you. Is this it? Do you try. Oh dear. Wait, I'm gonna place his back. I'm not gonna try and break his mob spawner. That is not what I'm trying to do in the slightest. Where do I. Say, I'm gonna. Oh, here! I know I don't wanna use my diamond uh, sword for this, but. Oh, beautiful Jack. Beautiful Jack. Thank you for this. Thank you for this. I gotta learn a quicker way to find this because it's like a fucking maze for me. Wait, did I bring any iron with me? No, I didn't. What I can do, though, is if I mind this. Place that back down. Oh, wait. Mm, I'll do. Uh, make myself a furnace. Beautiful. Alright, I honestly don't think you realize if I put this here. Uh, iron. And then... Oh, we actually have an XP farm. Oh, this is brilliant. Should I AFK it for a bit? Should I AFK it for a bit and then just see what happens? Oh, actually, you know what? If I just try it, was that three pieces? Yeah. If I just try that piece. I can have two iron swords whilst I'm here. Beautiful. You know what? I'm actually going to move that. I think you'll notice it. Nice. Right. Let's get it. Oh, I needed it. Damn it. And like so. Boom. Right, now we're not using our diamond. Oh my god. Let's get to level 30. Let's get some enchantments going, boys. Oh, yes. Alright, I'm going to AFK till 30, alright? I'll see you guys in a minute. We've been doing absolute bits. 33 levels. I've actually been using this sword quite a bit because it's got the sweeping edge and uh, just been quite enjoying it, to be honest. Like a few smacks here and there when there's like absolutely like like hundreds of them there. I don't even know if there can be hundreds spawning in, but when there's absolute loads of them, I use that, but in the other meantime, I've been using the iron sword. Just smack it away, collecting the XP, and absolutely love it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish this bit off now. I don't know why. I just want a little bit more. There's no point in me going over 33, but something's got me thinking. Because I have this, should I indeed make a closer base setup to this, or do I just keep running back and forward each time? Because what I want to be doing is enchanting, say, books, which is obviously going to be a win. So I can get, like, you know, just the standard sharpnesses and, like, just get an absolute load of just enchantments stored away. And if we make a little hidden base around here where we can input these, uh, inch whoa, right, mate? What's he just broke? Oh my god. Oh my god. No, whoa, whoa, I cannot break his, uh, bloody hell. I could not break his uh, mob spawner. He'd kill me. Oh, maybe I can. <laughs> maybe I can. Right, I'm just trying to see if there's anywhere. Where would it be a good spot around here to build? Like, I could just build it here at the end and then cover it up with smooth stone. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if we just... What's up? If we hollow out, say, this room, okay, and then inside it, 
we just put another enchanting room. A level 30 enchanting room. We'd be absolutely set. We could do all the enchantments. We could put books in here. He'd probably never come and look for it. And then if we put a smelter in here, or like a furnace, sorry, and we go ahead and smell just smooth stone, every time we leave, we could replace it with smooth stone. So he would genuinely not think to actually look down here. So that could be uh, could be a great success. So yeah, if we just uh, if we go ahead and hollow this room out. All right, so sprint on home. Let's go make a diamond pickaxe. If we make that diamond pickaxe, then we can put our first ever level 30 enchantment on it. Uh, and then we'll just... Come back with whatever we have. We'll bring some more iron swords with us, and we'll get smashing over there. All right, let's go do it. Our first, here comes the money. Our first level 30 enchantment. Oh, God. Uh, right, well, let's get rid of him, first of all. I'm sure I have knockback walk on. Walk on? One on. <laughs> let's put that down. I should stop him spawning. Put it over there. All right, we're cool. All right, our first level 30 enchantment. All right, what's it going to give us? Efficiency four. All right, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. I'm breaking three efficiency four. Damn, that's pretty good, man. I know it's not fortune, but it's still pretty goddamn awesome. Uh, let's go iron pick with lapis. Efficiency four. Ooh. All right, what's it gonna get this one? Fortune two. Oh my god, that's a win. That is an absolute win. Wait, should we do one more? See if it'll let us. And then efficiency too. Do we even need that? Do you know what? I'm not even gonna waste any more. I got 20. That's oh my god, guys, that is clutch. Fortune 2 is great. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, 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 okay. So we wanna do. Wait, I need, I need to clear out my inventory. Alright, so we've got on breaking one, efficiency two. Then we've got efficiency three, fortune two, efficiency four. So wait. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is get this one and combine it with that one. That only costs eight. Um, dire Ho. <laughs> dire Pick. Dire Pick. This is called the Dire Pick. Efficiency. Efficiency 4 and Breaking 3, Fortune 2. Do I need to combine these? That's Efficiency 3. Nah, I, can, I need more. I can, I'm going to save those for a later date. So, goodbye. Bye, goodbye, goodbye. We don't need that. Should I go try putting an enchantment on a book and just see what we can possibly get? Because I've got this diamond pick now, which is dope. I don't need... I don't need that iron pick. Don't need that iron pick. We can just use this one from now on. It won't... I can't, I can't see it costing us a lot to repair. And we got a diamond sword. Sweet. All right, what can we possibly get on this? Uh, uh. Multi-shot piercing efficiency. I don't think it's worth it. We can make loads at a later date. You know, we can just rinse it of it. But, yo. Fortune 2. That is absolutely clutch. And then just for mining, like, on breaking through efficiency efficiency 4, we'll be, able to, we'll be able to speed strip mine now. If we actually wanted to set up a strip mine somewhere, we 100% could. That is a win. So, you guys are going to have to forgive me for looking like a potato because after that last clip I filmed, I went out to my uh, friend's house and we had like a little bit of a hot tub party. So, uh, it's currently now three o'clock in the morning, like several, several hours from where we last left off, which made me realize we actually didn't really mess around with the book enchantments all that much. So, if we put these in, what we're going to get, we're going to get piercing, which, you know what? I'm going to take it. Do you know what else I'm going to get? I'm going to get Quick charge. Wait, I'm gonna minute. It's quick charge. I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna Google this right now. Quick charge. That's to do with a crossbow. So we wouldn't want that in the slightest. So I'll tell you what. We'll go for. Is bane of arthropods for spiders? I could be completely wrong with that. And then we're gonna get smite. Why have I done that and got a random load of shit? Uh, just because of the sake of why the hell not? Because I'm gonna go back there and get level 30 anyway. Ladies and gentlemen. We're going to go ahead and smell you. I'm just going to put you in there, member number five. This is all the loot that I collected from earlier, which is quite a hell of a lot. And you guys can start dropping down. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to mine this because I'm going to need it. And then I'm going to replace your booth and a site. And I reckon Jack won't even notice. All right. You guys keep falling. I'm going to e eat. And then uh, we're going to AFK uh, for a little bit until we're level 30 again. Ladies and gentlemen, this is how we goddamn roll. You guys can stack up, stack up all you want, 
Because what I'm going to do with this diamond pick, and through the back door of my entrance, mm, actually, no, that's a terrible idea. What am I doing? What am I, what am I even thinking? Let's do it down here. I'm going to, outside the side of the staircase, wrong pickaxe, thanks. This is so much more efficient. We are going to strip mine down here. So, guys, I'm going to start doing some AFK strip mining. And by the end of this episode, we will have found some diamonds. So, I will catch you guys shortly. I've just, <laughs> literally just started my AFK mining away from your, like, recording so I can listen to music. I mined a few strips. I broke straight into his mine. Am I still on his mining strip section? If I keep mining now, will I break through to his? If I do, I'm going to be absolutely pissed. You know what I'm going to mine for a minute on camera now, like this. Look how... Whoa, I don't like this at all. I don't, I don't like this at all. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, you know what? That's how I deal with you. See you later. Sayonara, motherfucker. All right. Um, okay, this this is just infuriatingly slow. One minute of pure mining uninterrupted. So we have to go up. We have to go over, over. And then we have to go down by two... There's no way. Courage sucks at diming, diming? <laughs> Mining diamonds. There's no way I just did that on camera. Oh no. There's absolutely no way I just did that on camera. What in the actual feck? One, two, three, four, five, six. You ready? Six diamond blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hang on a minute. Wait, did I have diamonds in my inventory already? <laughs> mm. I think I may have had three. I think I had three left. Or seven. Damn it. Uh, either way... Shit, I need to check my inventory to, to decide that one. Either way, your boy... I can't believe I just did that. I found diamonds within the minute. Wait, is the timer still going? Wait. Hey, Siri, how long's left on my timer? I think I stopped. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure I stopped it. But, uh, guys, can we get a like rating on this video? Because your boy just absolutely smashed that challenge of finding diamonds within a minute of pure strip mining. And I absolutely nailed it. Even by, even, even with exploring that cavern a little bit that I did by just running along and throwing a, like, a torch down and stopping some water, I still find diamonds. Wait, I'm going to do another test. You ready? Hey, Siri. Start a timer. For how long? 60 seconds. Okay, your timer is set for okay, one go. minute. There's no way we can do it again. Back to back, 60 second diamonds. I don't believe so. I, I, that would be the nuttiest like situation I've ever had in my life if I do this. Back to back, 60 seconds. <sighs> diamonds back to back, is that... Is that even possible? I really want to take that gold. Hey Siri, stop the timer. I stopped the timer. <laughs> There's no way. There's no I am the luckiest Minecraft player of all time. I am. Guys, one like rating on this video will grant you luck for the rest of your Minecraft eternity. Are you kidding me? I'm going to be able to walk out of it. Right, wait, wait. We've got 13 diamonds and we've got one, two, three, wait, four, five. We have five blocks. Yeah, five blocks. Five blocks, right? I tell you what, I'm going to throw these diamonds away. Watch. Oh, I think that might have only been five. Where are they? Seven. Oh. Guys, we're going to walk out of here fully diamond armored. There's no, there's no way I can do it back to back, right? There's just, there's just no way. <laughs> I thought that was diamonds as well then. There's no way, right? Okay, you ready? <laughs> hey, Siri. Set a timer for 60 seconds. Your timer is set for one minute. All right, we're on. Is this the right level? Yep. There's no way back to back. 
to back. I can do this. Surely you've, you, you know, when the when the when the good gets going. Oh no, we slowed down. No, no, no. You're in my way, you bastard. When the good gets going, the good gets gone. If I can find diamonds in the next like 30 seconds, then of which it will be, I'm a wizard. Surely there's no way. As if I just find 20 diamonds. I'm walking away from this trip with 20 diamonds. I've found Jack Spawner. I have a Fortune 2 pickaxe. And I have 20 diamonds. How? <laughs> Literally, how? Uh, I don't think we're going to find more, guys. But honestly, as soon as I saw that blue, then I was like, there's no way. If you guys are not... Oh. Right. So we didn't manage to do it, but let's do this. I like doing this. When I finish my mining trip, you mine in every direction just to see if you were close. Wow. Tw 20 diamonds, guys. I'm mining this redstone just for XP. Because you actually get quite a lot from redstone. It's ridiculous. All right. And ladies and gentlemen, on that note, I'm going to AFK till 30. I uh, really need to step up getting leather production, so... <coughs> Excuse me. Best way to do that is uh, cows. So whilst Jack's offline, I'm going to do some uh, farming. We're going to get as much XP as we need. We're going to get as much books as we need. We are going to have ourselves some fun. So until next time, guys, make sure you leave a like, Craig. Click that subscribe button. And... Um, when Jack next logs on, I'm going to kill him. I'm going to kill him. I'm going to throw down. Because it, I've been talking about how much shit he's been talking. And he's like, oh, you're nothing. Wait until you taste my diamond sword and all this. So, I think we need to uh, put him in his place. So, uh, when I see you guys next time, we're going to be killing Jack. So, uh, yeah. That is unless I've got a video of, like, cool unlocks and achievements and base building in between. But, next time he's on... We're going to kill. Watch the few faces. Sadios.